Australians will go camping in pretty much anything, but I think when you think about a classy camper vehicle, you think about a Volkswagen Combi fitted out to the nines of any generation, which kind of brings us to what's behind me here, which is a Volkswagen Crafter camper van with a K. Now, Volkswagen Australia is the only original equipment manufacturer to actually sell fitted out camper vans through their dealerships. And once this actually goes on sale in mid-May and starts being delivered in July, they will have three of them. They'll have the Caddy California, the California Beach, which is the normal combi fitted out to the nines, and then the Crafter camper van here. Now the Caddy California starts in the high 50s. The California Beach, which is the multivan T6.1, is somewhere in the low to mid 90s, whereas this will start at the high 130s and stretch to mid 150s. So this is definitely for dedicated grey nomads and travellers that want something they can live in for a couple of months. Now where that differs from the mid-spec one is that the normal combi multivan T6.1 thing can be used as a dual purpose vehicle. It's a van that can drive around the city but then can pop its top and have beds on the weekend. Whereas this one here is really something you would take as a dedicated camper vehicle. So what makes this the gun of all Volkswagen's camper vans? Now before we get in the camper van I want to point out a couple of things on the outside other than the badge work right here. We have this awning above us here that sort of opens out. It has a little winder inside that stores in where the lounges are. It also has two arms here to hold it in a heavy wind that also stores inside. Other features include a gas bayonet down the bottom here that runs from the gas under the lounge, meaning you can have a barbecue outside. You also have the 240 volt flap here to plug into the mains if you're in an establishment that has power. Uh, also one on the other side as well. You have stereo speakers when you're at that establishment so you can piss off other campers playing tub thumping by Chumbawamba as your anthem just before you start drinking or maybe even after or during. Uh, here we have an aerial booster. Here is a double 12 volt outlet. And as we go along here, other little neat feature. So it has an electric step. Now, as well as sharing the top spec two litre twin turbo diesel four cylinder, which is 130 kilowatts, 410 newton metres, and an eight speed automatic that we can see behind me, every crafter camper van is gonna have this kind of seating arrangement. Volkswagen calls it the four seater three sleeper. So it has these captain's chairs with these fold down armrests on there and here uh, that turn around to face the back of the car that are really comfortable. You also have this table here with another two seater here that's done by Jayco to match the trim of the front seats. It looks like it's factory, absolutely. And that little seat there folds down into a smaller bed for children because this vehicle is really kind of designed for people who don't want their children around too much or want to put them in a tent outside or maybe have a small child here. That's the point. This being a prototype also means that this factory air conditioning unit will disappear in the production car because we have aircon from here up front and we have a Jayco fitted unit in the roof down the back as well as diesel run heating down there. So this is a completely self-sufficient kind of vehicle. Now, other things we have here is all this cabinetry down here. There's more cabinetry around the back here. We have a two burner gas stove here. We have a sink under here. There's 120 litres of water storage, 85 litres of grey water storage. So again, pretty self-sufficient. The whole vehicle is covered by a five-year warranty, but stuff like the microwave and the fridge and other ancillaries, none of them ever have a five-year warranty and they don't apply. But generally, this is a full manufacturer-backed five-year unlimited kilometre warranty. In here is a shower and toilet. There's also a shower at the back for if you want to shower outside, which you would absolutely do when you're camping. But this means you can go to the toilet in private rather than using some of the putrid ones in camping facilities. Now, being 2022, you kind of need your multimedia and all of the stuff comes standard in this camper van. It has a flat screen television here. Here are the two speakers for the CD player that's up the front of the vehicle. We also have the Wi-Fi control in there with an air conditioning switch. And we have double three prong outlets there, there and up in there. So you've got heaps of stuff, although you can remove it. As for the fit out, Volkswagen chose very neutral. So this sort of subway tiled section is just plastic and pop out. This is all gray. This is all gray stuff. You could easily get all this retrimmed if you didn't like it and keep it and then put it on when you sell it again. But the idea is for it not to be polarizing. Paisley 70s tones are your choice, not from the factory. So it's the same fit for everybody. As for the actual space of it, 
it looks kind of small in pictures, but it's actually a lot better in reality. Like I'm sitting here in the novel seat, I've got this swivel table here. Oh yeah, we also get these throw cushions and a little blankie, which you can throw away if you don't like. Uh, the one other feature I wanted to mention too is the inbuilt air conditioning here matches with the diesel powered heating down here, but it also has these two little fans on either side of it that have Sirocco 2 written on it, which was actually a Volkswagen coupe from the 80s, but this one doesn't have a C in it. I thought it should be Sirocco 3, but I didn't design the van. As for the actual sleeping part of it, you can pop these barn doors open here. You've got this fly mesh here too, so I can fit here at 5 foot 10. Other people that might be a bit taller might need a bit more room, but you can leave this open and you do have that extra space where that's open and just the fly meshes down. So this is me passed out. Now the crafter behind me is the second prototype. It's actually an MY 2019 vehicle, but it's pretty much similar to the current generation crafter that you'll be able to buy when they start going to people in July. Now, these are all long wheelbase, four motion, all wheel drive vans. That is what Volkswagen is basing all three specs on. There'll be a camper van, a camper van style, and then this one is called camper van all terrain. This one brings a whole bunch of underbody protection. It has 30 millimeters more ground clearance than the one underneath it. It has these knobbly tires. And because it's the top spec here, we have LED headlights, cornering FOD lights, adaptive cruise control, some of those little classy extras that you'd expect for something that costs $150,000 when it's completely fitted out. But all of them are generally the same mechanical spec. The basis of the car is the same. Now this two-tone we see here is very much in the tradition of Volkswagen vans and so that's why it's available on the style and the all-terrain. This one here is silver over grey. It also comes in three other colours which is white over red, white over navy blue and white over a darker grey. So they're all kind of modern but still a little bit retro. Testing for the Crafter camper van is ongoing by Jayco at the Anglesey Proving Ground but you can register your interest for one of these right now. Online sales will start in mid to late May with deliveries starting around July and it will be an MY22 car not this MY19 one we have here meaning a different dash and a bunch of other upgrades and changes. Every month there should be about 10 produced, so roughly 120 a year, but that's just a bit of a toe in the water exercise to see just how many people are interested in something like this because the way things are going in Australia, I don't think they're gonna be able to build enough. If you haven't subscribed, please do so below the video, hit the notification bell, and tell us what you think about the Volkswagen Crafter camper van with a K or about chasing cars. Thanks for watching.